Hey everybody, I'm Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos, and one of the things I'm most excited about about the Xbox One is this incredible new Xbox One controller. So I came here to the Xbox Design Studio to speak to someone who can tell me all about it. It's Quentin Morris. How are you, Quentin? I'm doing really well. Good. Tell me about your role on the Xbox One controller. So I'm a senior product designer with the Xbox uh, design team, mm -hmm. and I was the lead on the Xbox One controller project. Excellent. So just the man to talk to. I want to talk Definitely. to you about three things, right? Precision, comfort, and realism. Core gamers know there's a lot of different ways you hold the controller. You know, as a first-person shooter guy, I'm really about how fast can I pull this trigger? You know, how fast can I hit this bumper to active reload? Having those experiences, you understand kind of what's important to a core gamer and what's really going to influence their gameplay. This sits in the hand better, right? There's some changes here that then give you a better range of motion, right? Which is going to improve your gameplay. First off, the battery now exists inside the body of the controller, which was technologically a very difficult thing to do. You can see this U-shaped PCB is designed to really fit around that battery. And PCB stands for? Printed circuit board. Of course, I knew that. I just wanted to make sure yeah. everyone else did. Moving the battery inside really enabled thinning out this section of the body. And doing that opened up the possibility to create this really great grip surface that exists here. So that means that you can now grip it with a lot less effort and grip it into the top of your hand. That leaves this whole thumb joint totally free to access the controls. So you're gonna be able to get around the controls way faster than you ever have before. So if you're playing eight, 10 hour sessions of whatever game, you'll just be able to play better and focus more on what's happening in the game as opposed to how you're controlling it. Tell us about how the, the Xbox One controller interacts with Kinect. We've added some uh, IR LEDs to the controller. You just press the bind button on the controller while you're sitting on your couch in view of Connect, and the controller will just connect. So if, if I'm playing FIFA with my mates, we're passing the controller around between games, mm -hmm. Connect is automatically going to know that that controller's been passed, who's holding the controller, right. as the, well as which controller. Yeah, so you can get in and focus on playing the game and enjoying your time with your friends. Real hardcore FPS players, they love wired controllers, right? That's they all do. they play with. You can connect this with USB to the Xbox One, and it instantly becomes a wired controller. Right. right? This is new. This is something we haven't done before, but as soon as you plug it in, all the data will be sent over the cable. So you're getting now a wired and wireless controller in one. Tell us about some of the, the you know, the, the changes you've made to make sure it feels more comfortable. We reduced the spacing just a little bit between the ABXY as well as on the, the bumper and trigger to really make it quicker to get around. Using this controller, without changing the way you game, you'll be a faster, better gamer. And there's changes to the controllers to make your gameplay experience more realistic. The triggers have an exciting new feature we call impulse triggers. They're rumble motors that exist inside of the trigger itself. It offers haptic feedback to the tip of your finger, which is the most sensitive part of your hand. By combining these two extra motors with the current rumble motors that we had in the previous generation, we can now create richer haptic effects that have directionality to them, so you can communicate forward, back, left, right. A really subtle effect could be that when you run out of bullets, you feel the empty chamber, mm. right? So you know immediately that you've run out of bullets and the next thing you gotta do is reload. So another big one is the magnetic trigger sensor. We've eliminated all the mechanical parts that used to be in the old controller and replaced it with a mechanical digital sensor. So it means that it's twice as sensitive as it ever was before. So in Forza, when you're trying to feather the gas, you'll have that much more control over that gas pedal. And let's talk about this D-pad as well, because it's pretty significant changes here, right? The pivot point for the D-pad itself had to be as high as possible. By moving that pivot point up, we get really nimble action. We've combined that nimble action with a new type of switch under the D-pad itself. It's got really crisp feedback, so you know immediately once you've pressed it. All right, let's talk about the thumbsticks as well, right? Something that when you're playing games, you're connected to the whole time. The thumbsticks, we made them slightly smaller in diameter. By making them smaller, your thumb's closer to the center. We've maintained the, the ridge that was so characteristic of the Xbox 360 controller, which is a great feature for, for pulling back, and added texture to the outside so that when you're pushing, you can get really good grip. So the other improvement that we made was we were able to dramatically reduce the dead zone in the, the stick itself. By reducing the dead zone, we've increased accuracy and precision dramatically. One of the things I've heard from gamers that I speak to is that they love the Xbox 360 controller so mm -hmm. much. Right? Right. They're a little bit yeah. worried that mm -hmm. this is going to be slightly different. We've been working on this for two years, and, and our, our main goal was to make sure that the Xbox One controller was familiar. And we talk about the 40 improvements, and most of those are fairly small things. When you pick it up, it doesn't feel like a totally different controller. It feels like a better controller. Our design team is 30 people, and that includes human factors, ergonomists, everybody plays games. All the people we recruited for all the studies are either just regular gamers or, you know, 
competitive gamers or people that have just been playing games for decades. I mean, this was designed for gamers by gamers. Great. Well, Quentin, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I think we've talked about it enough though, right? I want to get my hands yeah. on this controller and actually play some games. Yeah, let's right? do it.